hi all welcome back to another tutorial in this video I will teach you how to use switch function what you see on the screen is the syntax for switch function so what you exactly do in switch as the name suggests uh, you put an expression if the expression value is equal to what you desire then what is the value that you would like to switch that goes on the result say for example if the expression gives a value true then what would the result you would uh, like to replace that will go in the result one if not then what is the default value you would like to switch otherwise what is the other value uh, that you would like to have desire to have and what is the replacement value that is the switch value that you would like to uh, put so that's what the expression suggests let's now see with an example uh, and let's understand better so here is the data set what you see is the title of a movies and i am rating. so what i would like to do is I have a rating here for each of the movie titles. I would like to give a class rating for each of them, which means like if the rating is eight, nine, I would like to give an excellent uh, class. If it's less than four, five, then I would give a poor uh, class rating. So I would like to switch this numerical value into a text value. That's what I'm going to do let me name this column as double click and expand the column so this is what i would like to do in terms of expression if the rating is eight then i will rate it as excellent if the rating is seven then I will rate it as good. If the rating is 6, then I will rate it as fair. If the rating is 5, then let me say it's bad. Anything below than that will be poor. Less than 5 will be poor. So this is the class rating. I would like to do in terms of switching the number into a text class rating let's go ahead and use the switch function equal to switch open parenthesis so we want in whole numbers not in decimal numbers so let me round this number with zero count and if it's 8, then the switch value is excellent. If it's 7, then the switch value is good. If the rating is 6, then my switch value will be fair. If my rating is 5, then the switch value will be bad. Anything less than that will be poor. And press enter. This is what you get. So this rounds up to 8. So it's an excellent. Again, this rounds up to eight this will be excellent and so on all of them are tying to what we desire to have so this is how you use a switch function let me show an alternate way to achieve the same result and let's compare and see which is better there is a function called if s let me use that so the function for if s so if you're very familiar with if and other functions that this would be easy for you but let me compare and show you what is the drawback in if functions so if function is logic and test value and if it's true what is the value all of that so again 
you know the drill we would like to round this number with zero decibels and if it is equal to eight then i would like to switch with excellent if the value is seven then i would like to switch with good but here the thing is you have to repeat this particular expression over and over again let me put it here instead of eight it will be seven if it's seven my value will be good again same expression if my value is six that is my rating is six then my switch value will be fair if the rating is five then the switch value will be bad if the rating is less than five then the switch value will be four press enter here we go the values here in class rating is same as what you see in f column so it just gives the same output let's see what is the difference now the formula that you see on the screen is the formula of switch but whereas you see here is the ifs function so the drawback here is there is a repetition of this function every time you would like to switch a value for that particular uh, imdb rating that you would like to have so in that case it's very hard to decode this function if somebody is new is looking at it but whereas if you look this function is much more readable simple and easy to understand that's why we prefer switch instead of ifs.